Onivia. League of Legends highlights. Powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on eSports. Forward to go late for just on it. They can't, they say. We're going to go lane. Dominance are a bit more at least for the Varus. Yeah, and this could be the on-hit Varus build as well. So just trying to mix up that damage. Yes. Each contract gets to keep farming. Reminder there from Scout actually unleashes the Kali, but Jensen now has his ulti contact. He's gonna make it happen in the setup! Oh, no Scout! Good flash, but that's not enough. Jensen gonna grab the first blood. Yeah, awkward flash from Scout. Almost not necessary in the end because he was still flashing. Oh, getting some items. So right now, bot lane is gonna start it up. Mako missing that knockout, but clearly very sneaky is there. But contract now in the mid lane. This could prompt lots of action as Shen. He's gonna room in as well. A great cleanse off, but it's not enough as Impact taunts down and kills Scout. It's a party, and Impact has so much pressure. Oh, boy, what a huge chain of corruption, Smoothie! Get a flash to try and get up a cliff! Dunks him for the kill! And the immediate river area is all of the focus. Oh, Fight gonna start, Maker wants Jensen for the channel, he's gonna protect him. Shield is good, clear up now, maybe in trouble, Cataclysm's over, nowhere else to go, and Impact grabs a kill. Now, Mouse, who did TP in, is looking for something, but that's just one for Sin. Ulti there onto contracts by Shen, sneaky moving forward. Sin, I wanna turn this back around, Mako with a great dash back away. Mouse is here, contract now forced to flash out of the way, the Feather Stop, who's gonna really take it? Clear up the Dark Island, does it to take out Sneaky and Impact, he's too far forward, forced to flash as Jensen lands a nice two man summer EDG. Oh, yeah. It was there Scout, flashes in, aggression so much from this man. And the Rift Tower now been some of my contracts. That's a bit of an odd one in the middle of the fight. He puts a job play and says, please deal with that. Don't keep chasing us. And now he's back in. Oh, onto Mouse perhaps there. The Ruse could have worked a stun in onto that. The ulti from Jensen is enough onto Mouse. Yeah, not just getting oh, hello. Scout. All right, well, he pops the coming. Sneaky, though, gonna keep he's moving in Jensen series. Our contract, never mind, he's also there on Jensen. I think he's just gonna walk for the kill. Stun lands in, and contracts, he's the lucky man today. That's not just the duo lane of C9. Well, that that's he already. Contracts, maybe it's the pick. Cataclysm lands for the shield again, and Zayn just turns back around for the damage of Mako. A big knock up there, finds two with the Feather Storm. He's gonna protect the carry. Scout gets one, his mouth eats contracts for the first kill of the team fight. They keep getting these picks. And EDG, I don't think they want to... In the face of effectively three carry champions, a great start from Jensen. Leaping in with a massive call to Jensen. Grabs the insta double kill. Clear off, does not live as Jensen. He's going to grab the triple contract. Taking a lot of heat, but he lives just barely by a shield from Smoothie. And Impact back to protect his team. Oh, amazing play. Baron. And there is no way EDG can get in here. They have no chance and a big lead and time window for C9 to try opportunities to get into this. They require something special. This might be it, at least to start it off. The turret goes down, but Impact's in a 1v2 that he cannot survive. Inhibitor still goes down though. That's a worth trade for Cloud9. Yeah, they commit a lot. That's what EDG want. They got to fight Ooh, here. Make a good straight and get a good double knock of Ibai as well. Close the ulti in. The roots are good, but everybody lives through it. Well, Grab is too much. Good chance to be Still gonna try and make the play. This sire is big. C9 yeah. respect that Mouse needs to find something here, but he just can't. It's to push them away, but he's in trouble. Yeah, Feathers through again. So much damage to these. Oh no! Damage shields impact. Barely gonna miss that storm, but C9 undeterred. Scout Scout back. back into the mix, and Sneaky does manage Deal to kill Sneaky. Mouse. Sneaky, they're still living. Smoothie now all, but he has the shield. Sneaky again, just going off in this team by the contract. A step too far, perhaps the Spirit Refuge. Scout really wants oh. more, but yeah, Baron. Clearly might be going for Oh, clearly he's trying to get it, but a great time from Impact will stop that. Sneaky gets the last hit on the Baron and C9 back on the power play. Kron's flash is up. It's going to happen in the next few seconds if it's ever going to happen. Two minutes left. The Baron Maker goes in. Needs to make the play, but all the shields in Sneaky. Getting low, but Jensen. That's the dream's crush. Mako dead. Clear love dead. Everybody from EDG is just falling down on Impact. He may have died, but Cloud9 today, they will pick up their victory 2-1 now in this group. And the fans here will be disappointed, but Cloud9 will take the win. And C9 does not have to play to the crowd at Worlds. 2-1 in the group stage as their week one concludes. And this one ended like almost all of their victories have ended. They've taken that early lead they played it well, and they'll find a way to get the initiations when necessary to close it out. Impact, to me, was the standout player. Impact and Jensen, the solo laners of Cloud9, had a standout performance. That 7,000 damage team fight pretty much just sealed the whole game for them. Yes, they had the snowball. Boy, did he hit it home. And so impressive as C9 to 
kind of win the way they've always won back home.